I'm standing in the Supreme Court room at Liberty University School of Law, the Supreme Court room that is designed to replicate the United States Supreme Court in our nation's capital. That's where I defended the right to display the Ten Commandments, a rule of law, in courts of law in public places all over America. The Ten Commandments have had a profound influence on American law and government. Our notions of right and wrong and our common sayings have been profoundly shaped and influenced by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is actually embedded in the architecture of our nation's highest court. On the outside in what's known as the East Pediment, in the central feature, you'll see Moses holding the Ten Commandments. And when you walk into the Supreme Court, into the chambers, you'll pass the double doors where you'll see the Ten Commandments engraved in the wood. And once inside, you'll see Moses holding the Ten Commandments engraved in Hebrew. And then moving from the United States Supreme Court, where there's more than 50 displays of the Ten Commandments, over to the Library of Congress, there you'll see a prominent display of Moses with the Ten Commandments. To view the original Declaration of Independence in the National Archives, you literally walk over the Ten Commandments engraved in bronze on the floor. And then the Ronald Reagan International Trade Building has Moses with the Ten Commandments on the outside of that building. When you go to the U.S. House of Representatives, you'll see many profile features engraved in stone, but only one facial feature, and that's Moses right over the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Even the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, which ruled that the Pledge of Allegiance was allegedly unconstitutional, has in its very court seal a depiction of the Ten Commandments. The displays of the Ten Commandments are numerous, from state courthouses all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. In fact, not just one of the Ten Commandments, but all ten of the commandments have had a profound influence on our notions of right and wrong, and particularly American law and government. Virtually every one of the Ten Commandments has been incorporated in American law, not just in the colonial times, but even up to the present. In 1998, a Wisconsin Court of Appeals, quoting a 1974 Indiana Supreme Court opinion, stated, Virtually all criminal laws are in one way or another the progeny of Judeo-Christian ethics. We have no intention to overrule the Ten Commandments. And in 1950, the Florida Supreme Court declared, A people unschooled about the sovereignty of God, the Ten Commandments, and the ethics of Jesus could never have evolved the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Constitution. There is not one solitary fundamental principle of our democratic policy that did not stem directly from the basic moral concepts as embodied in the Decalogue. The Ten Commandments have also had a profound influence on our common sayings and even article titles such as the Ten Commandments of Effective Counseling, based upon the notion of rules of law or guiding ethics. The Ten Commandments have influenced our law, our government, our notions of right and wrong, and our common sayings. Yet there are many forces in America that are trying to remove the Ten Commandments from our history. Yet those who shape the future must know that the past still stands. I invite you to rediscover the Ten Commandments and the power of God's Word that He gave to Moses long ago on Mount Sinai.